Welcome to Chandra Sedu. This is the first video in the Digital Electronic Course series. Uh, the first video is on number systems, and uh, in this video, we'll discuss what is number system, uh, how to represent a number in a number system, and what are different types of number systems, and also we'll see conversion from one number system to the another. Firstly, what is a number system? It is a system used to express numbers. or we can say it is the mathematical notation for representing numbers with given set by using digits or some other symbols and for any number system there will be a base or radix which defines the total number of different symbols which can be used for the the particular number system suppose if we consider a decimal number system as deci means 10 so we can have the digits from 0 to 9 0 to 9 so that means for any number system with a base of r the numbers will be ranging from 0 to r minus 1 and coming to the representation of numbers so if we consider a number with a system with a r system that is nothing but for base r then it can be represented using this representation that is a power an into r power n an minus 1 into r power n minus 1 plus so on a1 into r power 1 plus a0 into r power 0 so which also mean a0 itself plus a1 into r power a minus 1 into r power minus 1 plus a minus 2 into r power minus 2 So on plus a minus m into r power minus m. So that means we are able to represent the numbers which are before decimal as well as after decimal. But the numbers which are before decimal will be represented with the positive powers, and the numbers which are after the decimal, which are represented by using the the negative powers. And coming to the number of uh, number systems, different number systems. we have firstly the decimal number system which will be using uh, commonly in our daily life and second we have binary number system and next octal number system as well as hexadecimal number systems so these two number systems are mostly used for representing the the binary representation in a simpler way why because in binary representation we have more number of bits for representing instead that can be reduced by using the octal and hexadecimal number systems and coming to the first one that is decimal number system as we know the radix of the the decimal number system is 10 so the members which are present in this uh, number system will be from 0 to 9 that is 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 and if at all we need to represent a number in a decimal number system so we can just represent with the powers of 10 So starting from the decimal point, that is 10 power 0, 10 power 1, 10 square, so on, and the positive side, uh, that is nothing but before decimal point, and after decimal point, it need to start with 10 power minus 1. And uh, you can see the example over here. It is uh, 275.36, so which can be indicated as 2 into 10 square plus 7 into 10 power 1 plus 5 into 10 power 0. Plus three into ten power minus one plus six into ten power minus two. And coming to the next number system, that is binary number system. So which uh, the computer will be using? Uh, why? Because computer can understand only zeros and ones. So the radix of this binary number system is two, and whatever the members present in this number system are only zero and one. That means this can understand only. Zero and one. Our computer can understand only zero and one, so that is nothing but the binary number system. And uh, if we consider an example one zero one one point one one, so which is a binary number. If we need to express this number, we will be representing from the starting from the decimal point two power zero, two power one, two square, two cube. Similarly, after the decimal point, it is two power minus one, two power minus two. The same is being represented here. And if we want the decimal equivalent of this uh, binary number, just if we multiply with these powers and add them, we'll get the equivalent uh, 
the decimal uh, number that is nothing but 11.75 so the next number system is octal number system where uh, the base or radix is 8 and uh, the numbers will be ranging from 0 to 7 and in this uh, octal number system we'll be multiplying the number with the powers of 8 so before decimal it is 8 power 0 8 power 1 and after decimal it is 8 power minus 1 so 57.4 an octal number is uh, represented by using 5 into 8 power 1 plus 7 into 8 power 0 plus 4 into 8 power minus 1 so if you want the decimal equivalent just we need to multiply that uh, powers of 8 and add them to get the decimal equivalent so which will be equivalent to 47.5 the last number system is the hexadecimal number system so where the radix is 16 so here uh, the numbers of this number system are so 0 1 2 3 till 9 and after that we have 10 to 15 also but so 10 to 15 are being represented by using the symbols a b c d e and finally the f which is representing 15 and next uh, if we consider an example a 9.c which is an hexadecimal number so if we just express this one we can write as a into 10 16 power 1 plus 9 into 16 power 0 that is before decimal and after decimal it is c into 16 power minus 1 so here uh, a can be indicated with 10 and uh, c can be indicated with 12 why because they are equivalents of this uh, 10 and 12 so which are used to represent by using the symbols a and c so if you take the decimal equivalent of this number we'll get it as uh, 169.75 and coming to the conversion from uh, decimal to the the binary number system so we need to do continuous division by 2 continuous division by 2 and take the remainders and we need to just consider these remainders from the the bottom to top bottom to top so if we have a number after the decimal point so that need to be multiplied continuously with the 2 and uh, the the part which is before decimal need to be considered for writing the the binary equivalent of this uh, the decimal number there is a after decimal number whatever part we have so for that we need to just write the the numbers in the right uh, from top to bottom so like here in this example it is 0.25 is the the part which is after the decimal point so into 2 will give you 0 0.50 and uh, this 0 0.50 we have only 0 we'll be considering that number next 0.50 into 2 will give you 1 so we will be having 0 0 so we need not further go for multiplication with 2 and these digits need to be taken from top to bottom so it is nothing but uh, whatever 0.25 can be indicated with 0 1 similarly whatever 27 is there so that we will be doing continuously divide by 2 and taking that uh, whatever the remainder part so from the bottom to top so that 27.25 is nothing but 11001.01. This is decimal to binary conversion. Next, we will see about decimal to octal conversion. So, where the number is divided continuously with uh, 8 to get the, the octal equivalent of that decimal number. So, we took here an example of 246.25. So, where uh, the, the part which is before decimal need to be treated different way and after decimal need to be treated in a different way as uh, we have seen in the binary number system so there the in the binary number system we have done continuous division with 2 but in the octal number system we need to do continuous division with 8 so when you do do the continuous division with 8 so this part will give you 336 why because we need to take it from bottom to top and coming to the decimal that is part after the decimal point so we have 0.25 if we multiply it with 8 we will get 2 and we got here 0 so no need of further multiplying the digits if we don't have here 0 we need to once again multiply with 8 and whatever uh, before decimal part is there, that need to be considered 
and the remaining part need to be multiplied with 8 once again so it need to be continued until we get 0 but in some of the cases the multiplication will be continuing so on so where we need to stop after 4 or 5 digits after the decimal point so only the part which is before decimal need to be considered and from top to bottom need to be considered for writing the equivalent so that for 246.25 decimal number the equivalent octal number is 366.2 and lastly we have hexadecimal to hexadecimal and in this uh, as the hexadecimal conversion so we need to divide continuously with 16 and take the remainders from bottom to top so that uh, will get the, the hexadecimal equivalent also we need to treat in the same manner for octal or binary what we have done so in the same manner we need to treat the decimal the part which is after decimal we have 0.5 here so 0.5 into 16 will get uh, will give you 8 and we have 0 here so we need not further proceed for the multiplication process and this part also need to be taken from top to bottom so when you write uh, 493.5 uh, hexadecimal equivalent so we'll get it as 1 ed.8 next we need to see uh, the conversion from octal to binary so octal to binary here there is a principle that 2 power 3 is equal to 8 based on this we got 3 binary bits that means with 3 binary bits can be used for representing a single octal digit so that we can find here different representation 0 0 0 this is binary number and equivalent octal number is 0 and for 0 0 1 the equivalent octal number is 1 and for 0 1 0 2 so on up to 1 1 1 it is the 7 which is the last octal digit so if we have a number in the octal number system then we can represent it in the binary form by considering each this each octal digit with a three binary bits suppose here 47.6 is there so 7 can be represented by using three bits of binary that is 111 and 4 can be represented by using 100 and uh, whatever 6 is there that is after decimal even that also can be represented with 110 so that we got this representation 10044 11147 and uh, 6 is nothing but 110 so this is octal to binary conversion and finally what we have is the hexadecimal to binary and here also the same type of principle that is uh, 2 power 4 will make uh, 16 that is 4 binary bits if we consider then it will form a single hexadecimal digit so based on that uh, we have starting from 000 sequence till 1111 which forms f which is the final uh, hexadecimal digit starting from 0 to 7 and 8 and 9 and then we will be having 1010a till 1111 that is f suppose if we consider a number hexadecimal digit that is 7b point e so it can be represented by using uh, 7 with uh, 0 1 1 1 that is 4 bits need to be used and for b it is uh, 1 0 1 1 and for uh, e it is 1 1 1 0 so that is how we can represent a hexadecimal number with the 4 uh, that is uh, each hexadecimal digit with the 4 binary bits so this is the first uh, lecture in the the digital electronic course series so we'll be having uh, the coming lectures on the other topics uh, which are after this one that is complements of numbers so please subscribe to chandra's edu and also like the video and also share the video thank you